Welcome back everybody to Red Dead Redemption 2. I uh, no, I didn't post for like two days, but I was I was busy. Oh gosh, that, that day before yesterday I was I completely forgot and then yesterday I had an interview to go to, so that right there took uh, you know my uh, priority. But uh, yeah, this is what happens when you go to the chain gang. And meet Mr. Black and Mr. White. I go. Hey, friend. Hello. How was in town? Pretty hot. There's quite a price on you boys. It is so unfair. I, I didn't do nothing. Well, they said you was wanted for murder. It wasn't murder. It was self-defense. And you? Killed a farmer? Well, firstly, I would have, but he died before I could. And secondly, well, he had it coming. He... I don't like to say. Well... Ain't no business of mine. Here's the posters. Thanks, partner. That's that, then. That's that. You know, you can Clear listen to him. Free from you, at least. Well, not quite. No? We should wait a while first, see if anyone's on our trail. You're right. Two risks <clears throat> split up now. Two sets of eyes is better than one. This ain't permanent, though. It's a temporary measure. Well, right, right. Till things blow over. Then I'm done with you, Black. I'm counting the hours, White. I'm curious on uh, what happens if... I just get some food in my belly. <clears throat> kind of curious on what happens okay, if you they come back to him as John. Are they still working together or do they like part ways? But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and head over here. I was thinking about you know just doing these. I got a couple of side missions I can do. So I was thinking about doing that before the. <clears throat> Chapter ends because you know those are some of the ones that don't stay. I'm gonna do this Hosea mission, then I'm gonna go ahead and do those. I think that stops me and uh, <clears throat> it'll stop me like in a city, so I should be able to stay and just do those after like mid up mid story or mid video. Not mid video, uh, like. What's it called? What's it called? What's it called? Uh, <clears throat> in between videos, so it's easier for the straight effort. I forgot what it was called for a second. Mission, it gets a little annoying. <clears throat> oh yeah. Hey, see there. There you go. Yeah, I just switch back to my suit. I had. Identify yourself. I'm coming in. See what we got going on over here. <clears throat> Gotta talk to Hosea. Hosea? Hey, Arthur. Come on! If we're gonna make it to this party, we yeah. sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Old friend Dutch Van der Linde is finally showing his true colors. Social climate. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my mm -hmm. suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <clears throat> oh, why am I on a loading screen? Uh. <laughs> we are ridiculous. <laughs> Utterly. 
I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. There can be fine pickets. Oh, no, 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 no <laughs> pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. <laughs> way kind of contact. Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I'm sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> The way the ale looks. Gentlemen, Luca, I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. <clears throat> <clears throat> No, I think Please Arthur saw what Bill did, that's why he didn't so do that. Like that it. We are honored to be here. Uh, that's wonderful, wonderful. That. Come on, this way. Uh, what a beautiful evening it shall be. Uh, Mr. Brante is a very good friend with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli. As long as the mayor behaves himself, you know, uh, Mr. Brante, he has a, that thing, you know, uh, respect. Jose, Bill, you joined the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Bronte. <laughs> come, come. We'll meet you out in the balcony when you're done. Yeah, follow this guy up here. <clears throat> Why does Dutch get to have a top hat, but I can't? I want a top hat. You arrived, <coughs> and you've washed for the prima volta questo mese, senza dubbio. Oh. <laughs> this is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something, although I'm not quite sure what. <laughs> so, this is Sandini High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, <coughs> these are friends of yours, <laughs> Senor Bronte. No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crawley, a, a confederate major in the war, I mean, a hero, they say, but that is his, his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. Oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, and a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> and that... That is Hector Fellows, mm. the self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm <clears throat> going to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. Well, I'm not taken. None taken! <laughs> All these vulgar people, they hate me. Non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire! Well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. <laughs> Those sure were the days. Good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well, we, we are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. Well, there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself <coughs> in such uh, matters. But you, pff, 
As a guest? Yes. As my guest? Bah! Do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> Ok, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. Sì. Ma adesso sto guidando il mic, quindi posso... Se mi fai piacere, follow me. Oh, man. Ok, mi ho detto molto. Ho detto che ti 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 ho detto che Gentlemen, enjoy your evening and welcome once again to Santa Nina. Ciao ciao. Gentlemen, <laughs> let's go ingratiate ourselves. Okay. 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 Go find the mayor if you can and stay out of trouble and steal nothing unless it's information. Of course. Jose. You go find us some place to run. Bill, go make us some new friends. Well, I guess it's talking to you. Pain, sir? Oh. Ah, get me a bloody drink, will you? A small one. Just big enough for me to swim lengths in, you know? Yes, madam. <laughs> you know what? Oh, great fuck, I'm drunk. <laughs> Good evening. You know. Hello? I used to be a great beauty. How's things? And Things are mighty fine indeed. Gentlemen. Glad to hear. Take care. Please so long now. Total bastard it is, huh? Then again, art is all very well, but my daughter could do better. I was the show. I heard you went. Outrageous. These dancers. Hey, well, sir. <laughs> if that's French culture for you, sign me up for French culture. How you doing? Gentlemen, I hope you're having a fine with you. The mayor what? See you again. <laughs> Lemieux, this intellectual here was just insulting me regarding the Redskins. I did no such thing. <laughs> but, <clears throat> Mr. Lemieux, it, I suggested that all of us, as Americans, had a duty to take care of people living in this land. And that extends to Saint Denis. It ain't complex, Lemieux. And only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, sir, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy! You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man, <clears throat> this man loves darkies. <laughs> hey, you are pretty drunk. Yeah. Hey, what say I... you and me cool <clears throat> off? How you do? <clears throat> Get your hands off me. Come on, sleep it off. He walks away, doesn't even try to go back in. <laughs> Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. Monsieur. Hey. <clears throat> Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. There's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know every Miller? My lord. Lighter? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh, oh, oh. My lord, they're fantastic. <clears throat> Excuse me, brother. Excuse me, brother. Uh, monsieur, please. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. Uh, it's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please say something about Cornwall. Yes. Find out what. Sure. Man, I wanted to watch the. Oh. I wanted to watch the fire tonight. I don't know what's going on with Cornwall. What? What? Gotta go talk to him? I do. I have to follow him. Okay. It looks like I am. No 
problems? Everything's fine. We have the place well secured. Good. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hawks. Thank you, Mr. Terrapin. Hmm. Need to being spotted. Is everything taken care of? The telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. Wow. <laughs> Just gonna keep walking around. <sighs> Marie! Marie! Find that little reprobate chip and beat him! I will not have stand... I'm sorry, sir, but the party is in the garden. The residence is purely for family. I do hope you understand. Forgive me. I was... unaware. Can I, can I ask him where the bathroom is? Hang on, okay. Hey! No! Okay, well. Don't slip in this house! No! Oh, that worked out. Have you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. And look around. Mm, nothing. There's nothing in here. Oh, boy. Oh. What did I do? Oh, I have to keep an eye on him. Okay. Um. I thought I was... Okay. <laughs> Is everything taken care of? The telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. <clears throat> I gotta say a decent bit away. <sighs> Marie! Marie! Find that little reprobate chip and beat him! I will not have stand a slip in this house! Have you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. <coughs> Who do you think you are? Aye. This area is not meant for the likes of you. You know this. The standards in this house are slipping. This is a final uh, warning to Miss. Uh, could be cutting in and out because of the weather. Now get out of my sight! <sighs> you can't notice me a little bit faster. Ah. Well, I guess second time's a charm. Mr. Leviticus Corn. Top <laughs> secret. Extremely confidential. Very interesting. Oh, nice. No, 
There's also some stuff I could grab here. There's gonna be one turkey that could just pause it. Now I return to Dutch. Okay. Yep, door. Monsieur? I can't do that. Ma'am? Hi there, ma'am! <laughs> he starts yelling. <clears throat> Find anything? I think so. Nothing. This town <clears throat> is a waste of time. Maybe not. I think... Gentlemen. I think we're done here. What did you find out? There's plenty of money moves through here, of course, and I, I think I found out how we can grab some of it. Big bank. Real one, I mean. But not yet. A city bank? Maybe. And a stuffed one. If we're gonna leave, that could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high stakes uh, poker game. Come on. They yeah, also went to high stakes poker game a few chapters ago. Imagine if he just gives me my wrong, the wrong my... weapon. Alright. Let's get in. <coughs> Go home! Oh, I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk all so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. <sighs> Let me see you take this. I don't <clears throat> think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. Yep, more cor Cornwall. Guys, always involved in something that happens. He's like the flu. You can get rid of him, but he'll keep coming back. <laughs> Interesting times. I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are going to run some distractions, see how the law reacts. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller, fine man, here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. <clears throat> a lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. Where is home? I don't know. Exactly. Tahiti. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. <sighs> Oh, I got bronze. Check it out. What I had to do. Uh, well, at the party, pour some drink. Huh? Oh, yeah. I don't remember how to do all that. Yeah, that's fair. Not fair. Mm -hmm. Uh, wait, there it is. Let me go ahead and grab that. So I, pop up. I can't grab it actually. Okay. Let's do that. I do the last time, you know, like a. I keep that a three. That's better. That's what it was. Alrighty, uh. <clears throat> I think I'll be ending the video there. I'm gonna be posting. Well, I'll be doing another one right after, but. I'm gonna end this I video here, which is part 34. Right I believe that's part 34. Yeah, part 34. I'm gonna end the video. It's gonna be. And part 35 will be up later. 
today or tonight, depending on what happens. Why is there an inside? Oh. But yeah. I'm out of here. <laughs>